Hello all and welcome, I'm the Tough Philosopher, and this is a continuation of my reply to Armored Skeptic's anti MGTOW video. So let us begin where we left off, shall we? And you basically admitted that you know that you're not good enough to be with somebody who likes you for anything other than your money. You Well, when did he say that? He didn't say that. You said that. That's your interpretation. You can say all you want that he basically said that. No, he didn't even say that in the most basic sense. That's, that's your interpretation, okay? Given up on any other qualities you may have. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, how is him being tired of what feminism has created? Meaning that, yes, women always cared about resources. If you want to deny that, that's fine. But women are concerned about resources. Men are concerned about looks. However, feminism has made women uber concerned about resources and materialism, much more so than they used to be because they can get those things on their own. So, hey, a woman is not going to, in general terms, generally speaking, a woman is not going to get with a guy that earns less money than her. She's going to want a guy that earns more. So she's able to, on her own, earn a fair amount of resources. Then you've essentially, she has essentially upped, risen what is acceptable for her in terms of what resources a man has to offer. So women have become far more concerned about the resources that a man gets or does not get than they used to be. Because it used to be they couldn't really earn very much in the way of resources, and now they can. So their standards have gone up, 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 up. And now it seems like most women are only concerned with that and that alone, which is pretty much the case. Uh, from what I've seen, yes, there are some that are not, but they're so few and so rare that it's really not worth looking for them, which is what he is saying. He's never, ever said anything that you're implying about himself. What he's saying is what he's saying, what I just said. It's not about him. It's about her. I know you want to think otherwise, my friend, with your internalized misandry, but no, he has, every, what he said has nothing to do with him. It's about women in large, not him. You do spend on bitches, don't get me wrong, but I don't, I, I don't spend that much, that for sure, that's for sure. Between discounts, entertainment, book, you name it. Ah, you're a couponer, eh? Good for you. Okay, first of all, pal, dating is about porking. You can mock this guy all you want, but uh, uh, don't try and deny reality, huh? The reality is that people date so they can pork. That's all it is, especially to a man. And you're trying to act like you're some kind of white knight, mangina dude who's above all that, and you care more. You don't, you're not just concerned about porking. In fact, oh, that's not your greatest concern. No, you, you care what's on the inside of a woman. You care what's within. You're not concerned about what's without. And by the way, what does your girlfriend look like, pal? Good for you. Discount dating. See, we got, see, we got any cops around. Right. Because dating is about porking. It doesn't matter how much money you spend on a woman. She decides within the first 5, 10 seconds if she's going to bang you. And no matter how much money you spend, it won't change a thing. So why spend a lot? That's reality. If you don't know that, well, your problem, not mine. On here. Let's flip a bitch right here. take you guys in this direction. Ugh, this is the most boring playthrough of Grand Theft Auto V I've ever seen. At least it's not CSGO Surf. Am I right, Leafy? Leafy, you gonna play Surf again? Leafy? Leafy, you gonna fucking play Surf again? Leafy, you keep fucking playing so that was my Okay, so first of all, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not funny. Not funny at all. And by the way, you chose this guy, you know, because essentially he was some of the lower hanging fruit. You didn't want to be challenged. You know, if he bores you, why'd you choose him to talk about in the first place? Right, because he's easy to bash. I see. Let's continue, shall we? Uh, and by the way, let me just say this. Uh, you don't get it, pal. He chose to walk away from women, and he chose to walk away for all the right reasons. Uh, you say he isn't a real MGTOW because he doesn't hold the right beliefs or spout the approved dogma. Yet you yourself 
said at the start that all MGTOW is is men going their own way. You contradict yourself now by essentially introducing a dogma, an ideology that doesn't exist. My very long journey into MGTOW. You missed all the parts where you actually become a MGTOW. You didn't talk about the political sphere. You didn't talk about the judicial sphere. You didn't talk about the community and your discovery thereof. I see. So because he didn't talk about the things that you believe he should believe to be MGTOW, then he's not MGTOW. Right, because you are mistaking shared experiences between MGTOW men that they all talk about and all share, all shared with a shared ideology. That's not a shared ideology. That's just similar life experiences. You're mistaking that for an actual ideology, and then you're trying to apply that ideology as some kind of test to see whether or not someone qualifies as real MGTOW or not. Boy, for somebody who's against ideologies and, and is supposed to be anti-collectivism, you sure do go right to the collectivism and the ideological bent. You just gave us some anecdote about how you hate your mother and all the women you grew up around. Do you I don't think he said that he hated his mother, and now you're simply implying yet again that some kind of mommy hatred led him and probably in your mind, most men, to MGTOW. Certainly this guy, you're implying that's the case. You're trying to represent him as the mainstream when really he's just low-hanging fruit. You are the mayor of MGTOW, and you don't even know what MGTOW is. I don't think you know what MGTOW is, pal. You have no clue what MGTOW is. You represented it through a, misrepresented it throughout your entire video. You don't have a clue. I'm sure there are a lot of MGTOW out there that don't know they're MGTOW. That's why we have to get the word out and uh, maybe go to other sites, Super Bowl-related sports, sites where men are on, and uh, share, uh, uh, share with them about MGTOW. Ooh, that kind of sounds culty. You just going around to other websites trying to convert people to MGTOW? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, hold on a second. It's not culty to spread facts, or do you consider people who speak truth to be cultists? You see, you don't know what a cult is. Your definition of MGTOW, uh, I mean, honestly, your definition of MGTOW is the most cult-like thing that's been said in this video so far. Not anything that he has had to say. And to get some new blood into this fucking movement, because, uh... Women are, uh, we're essentially uh, uh, being, uh, being raised by the enemy. Us men are being raised by the enemy. Enemy? Women are the enemy? You know, when you're using terms like enemy or ally, you've gone a little bit too deep into your ideology. Wait, 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 wait. First of all, why has he gone too deep into what is, isn't an ideology? It's not an ideology, okay? What you're making right now is a spurious argument. You just made an unsupported statement. That's your opinion, okay, that he's gone too deep into an ideology that doesn't even exist. Can you explain why that's the case? No arguments? Just criticisms? I see. Let's continue. Start, start backpedaling, dude. Start backpedaling. Well, you're pretty good at backpedaling yourself if anybody's watched your videos, but let's continue, shall we? See, this is why I don't like identity politics. This is why I don't like gender politics. This is why I... Well, okay, you don't like it, yet you use it yourself, okay? But you're not ideological? Come on, give me a break. Everything you've said in this video, everything you've said that you've claimed is real MGTOW, nobody else in this video said. You said it. You have created a definition, a meaning, an ideology, a system, a belief system that nobody else has claimed to be real MGTOW except for you. Okay? You've created this entire false premise just so you can attack and debase and mock something. Because without it, you couldn't do it. You couldn't build your house of cards. I don't like ideologies in general. The people that are in them take them way too fucking seriously. Yes, yes, not all. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What? Okay, uh, uh, son, with all due respect, you take nothing seriously from what I've seen. And you're far too sure of yourself and the rightness of your own views. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, you need about another 20 years of seasoning to lose the remainder of your liberal leftist indoctrination.
ever. But the problem is that even if you're not one of these people that do this, you are immediately associated and lumped in with people that are this intense and this far over the deep end. And then, you all right, as you're doing, I bet you're the one lumping them in, okay? And by the way, you're the one creating the ideology in the first place. You're just left trying to defend these people that you don't agree with because they're in the same ideology as you. There's no ideology to MGTOW. You made it into an ideology so you could attack it. Hence, all your qualifiers for what it is and is not, uh, for what is and is not a real MGTOW, they're all based on your creation, your belief of what you think the ideology for MGTOW is when there isn't even an ideology. Okay? You've created a straw man, and you're trying to portray MGTOW, portray MGTOW as something it's not. You're trying to portray it as an ideology. And you're extremely lacking in self-awareness, my friend. And you're being extremely intellectually dishonest. This young generation of kids is being raised to, to act like a bunch of fucking pussies. And uh, they're effeminate, quite frankly. I kind of agree with that statement. But your assertion that it's women that are doing this couldn't possibly be further off. We do couldn't possibly be further off. If you're saying it couldn't possibly be further off, that's like 0%. You're saying, you're saying they have 0% to do with it. Uh, buddy, you sound like a feminist. Let me tell you something. 70% of blacks are raised by single moms. 43% of whites are raised by single moms. Yes, this has an effect on kids. Girls being raised like girls with no father figure. Okay, what's going to happen? Well, they're going to be feminists, leftists. You have no male figure there to check the woman. Okay? That's an epidemic. 43% white, 70% blacks. And you're going to try and say that has no effect on the kids? Really? That women have nothing to do with these problems? Really? So on one hand, you blame it all on the mother. <laughs> this is so funny. This guy, he makes these assessments comparing uh, uh, this guy, this Mig Mayor Migtown, and saying that he's Migtown because he has mommy issues, which is acknowledging the great power that mothers and fathers have to shape a child's viewpoint of the world. And then later, he says that mothers, and at the same time, he would have to be saying fathers as well, have nothing, or the lack of fathers thereof, have nothing to do with the child's viewpoints or how they turn out later on in life in this regard. Really? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, just think about it. This has an effect on boys. I mean, if you have no father and only a mother, well, then the boys oftentimes are going to be raised like girls with no father figure around. And you're going to say that that isn't an epidemic with those huge numbers, 70% black, 43% white, and that that has no effect on a man, that he's being raised like a girl? No. They're not solely to blame. I, I, will, I would agree with a partial statement where you say no women are not solely to blame because the schools and the media play a hand as well. But they are to blame in large part as that mother, well, she's who those kids spend the most time with. Use your brain, pal. Or are the, these thoughts, are these ideas, is this information not getting through that thick metal plate helmet you wear? Let's continue, shall we? Kind of have a bubble wrap generation of people who have no idea how to deal with feelings and instead of taking on problems head on, they go into safe spaces. But this isn't women doing this. <laughs> yes, it is. Women are the majority of useful idiots and they control the vote. You bet your sweet ass it's women and their white knight proxies who are doing this. Uh, let's continue. This is ideologies, my friend. I would encourage... <laughs> Oh, I love it. Okay, yes and no. First of all, who creates and follows ideologies? People. Who pushes ideologies? People. And certain people are more ideological than others, meaning women who are collectivists by nature. You didn't think about that, did you, pal? Do you see what you're doing? Essentially, what you're doing is blaming the gun instead of the finger pulling the trigger. The ideology instead of the hand that carries it out. I mean, 
Honestly, uh, uh, that's like saying don't fight Nazi soldiers because they're not the enemy. It's their ideology that's the enemy. Uh, yeah, initially, so that's the case. But first, you have to beat the people pushing the ideology before you can attack and defeat the ideology. Duh. Yes, the ideology is your enemy, but so are the people pushing it. Uh, let's continue, shall we? I would encourage all of you to make new videos and maybe put tags on them that are unconventional, tag, tags that have to do with uh, uh, men's related stuff, sports, other things, you name it. And when you do that, more and more men will discover the movement. More and more men will discover what the fuck is going on and wake up to it. Okay, so you're going to manipulate people into finding out about your cult through deception? Wait, 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 wait. It's not a cult. And how is it deception to honestly speak to people? I made a video about cults and talked about whether or not MGTOW is a cult. Now, there are some cult-like movements that do exist within MGTOW, centered around popular figures, but that's hardly representative of the whole of MGTOW men. Now, I made a video about this, and I will put it in the uh, end screen annotations so you can watch it and see for yourself what I'm talking about. Now, let's take a look at the definition of a cult. Number one, formal religious veneration or worship. Uh, no. Men who are MGTOW are just walking away, going their own way. They're not worshiping anything. Number two, a system of religious beliefs and ritual. Religious beliefs? Uh, like a godhead, figurehead? Uh, no. Number three, a religion regarded as unorthodox or spurious. Uh, MGTOW is not a religion. It's not even a group. This guy continues to try and make it into a group so he can continue to support his attack upon it, but no, it's not. Number four, a system for the cure of disease based on dogma, dogma set forth by its promulgator. Okay, so like an authority figure setting up a, a snake oil salesman type deal, creating an ideology that can cure your ails, some kind of self-help thing. I suppose in, there's very, you know, if, if you warped your perceptions enough, you could view it in similar that way. Because, yeah, MGTOW is trying to make lives better, going their own way. But there's no disease uh, being cured unless you were to view the disease being, uh, in this case, feminism. But that, that's a stretch. That's a stretch. Okay, number five, great devotion to a person. Ah, okay. Now that's a possibility. So devotion to a person... You could have cults within MGTOW, and I talked about this in my video, uh, cult, cults and cult leaders within MGTOW. Yeah, you can have personality cults and such, cults that are focused around a person and their ideology, their belief system, their uh, perception of what MGTOW is, sure. Great devotion to a person, idea, object, or movement. Okay, so this is the one definition that could fit MGTOW if it was a movement, which it's not. This guy is dishonestly trying to make it into a movement. So far, the only person who has defined MGTOW as some kind of group is essentially this guy. I mean, the guy, Mayor MGTOW, used the word movement once, but in a very loose way not like an actual group or collective movement. It, 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 people tend to use the word movement like uh, people tend to use the word theory, not in the actual intended use, because the intended use for theory is fact, and the intended use with movement is an actual uh, cohesive collective all working toward the same goal, working together to accomplish that end result. No, MGTOW are not doing that. And by the way, for something to even be a cult, it first has to be an ideology. You can't have a cult without an ideology. Let's look at ideology. Visionary theorizing. No, MGTOW is just about guys going their own way. That there might be some MGTOW guys who do theorize about visions of how the future might be if all men go MGTOW doesn't make the whole of MGTOW an ideological movement. Two, a systematic body of concepts, especially about human life or culture. Again, just because some MGTOW guys share, have shared life experiences and they talk about them together, that's different than them all ascribing to some kind of separate 
ideological belief system that exists on its own. Not the same thing. The integrated assertions or, now, or a manner or the content of thinking characteristic of an individual group or culture. Again, the content, a manner or the content of thinking characteristic of an individual group or culture. Okay, so are some MGTOW ideologically inclined? Yes. Do they have ideological beliefs that fall in line with a type of ideology? Yes. By the way, having an ideology of some kind is not always evil. The guy who's speaking in this video makes it sound that way. But he's also trying to represent MGTOW as a movement that has some kind of manifesto, that has some kind of belief system set up around it, some kind of ideological structure involved that identifies who is and is not MGTOW, actual requirements set up. It's not that at all. I'm sure, and I have seen some MGTOW people who ascribe to or believe things like this, but they're not representative of the whole. He's trying to represent them that way, but I have yet to see any evidence of this from the two people to date he's shown in this video. The first was some guy I never heard of who was talking about how women ain't people. Obviously very low-hanging fruit. And then the mayor of MGTOWN, small channel, and this video he made as a response was over a year ago. So Mayor MGTOWN had very few followers at that time. Again, low-hanging fruit so he won't meet any real resistance. Guy's a bully. He just picks on the smallest, the littlest, because he's afraid of getting some kind of blowback. He's yet to produce any evidence. The only evidence he has produced, uh, uh, presented isn't skepticism. It's critical theory. He's just making criticisms. He's making implications without actual arguments. He's just saying, this is the case. This is what a MGTOW is. This is MGTOW ideology. Believe me, because I'm the armored skeptic, and I'm such a smart, unbiased guy, as I laugh uncontrollably and show my bias that what I say goes and must be facts. You should accept what I say on authority. <laughs> the only way I, person I see acting and speaking ideologically is him. <sighs> Let's continue with the video, shall we? I think we've established that MGTOW is not, by and large, an ideology or a cult. It doesn't meet enough, meet enough of the requirements for an ideology, collectively speaking, or a cult to be one. I will not deny that there are people in MGTOW that follow an ideological uh, way of thinking, follow an ideological set of principles or requirements in their mind that one must have to be MGTOW, but those are individuals. They don't represent the whole. That's the mistake he's making. And the mistake this guy is also making is conflating shared life experiences and sharing those life experiences with people parroting and ideology. They're not the same thing. This is a lot like those fundamentalist Christians that put a chick track in the KFC bathroom so people can discover Jesus while taking a shit. <laughs> you just gotta love his attempts to minimalize and create a false equivalency argument. Argument similar does not mean the same, buddy. Next. There are so many people who are MGTOW and uh, do not know it. Again, you cannot be a MGTOW and not know it. That's like... Okay, so he's making more false equivalencies here, and he's mistaking one thing for another, uh, and that's why he's making these conflations wrong. Of course, you can be something and not know it, because MGTOW requires no outside validation and has no outside requirements to be MGTOW other than the definition of what MGTOW is. Just don't marry, live with, or have kids with a woman. If you're doing that, you're MGTOW. Your ideology doesn't exist within MGTOW. It's your own creation. It's your own warped perception of MGTOW. It's your misconception of what MGTOW is that you're trying to now apply to MGTOW and tell people is MGTOW ideology, which it actually isn't. And I just love how this guy is trying to tell us what MGTOW is, and he's getting it all wrong. Trying to imply, no, he's trying to apply an ideology where none actually exists. Those feminists that say if you believe in equality, that means you're a feminist. You're no, 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 no. Because feminism is an actual ideology. It is a cult with a robust belief system, system 
that has teachings and requirements and dogma and authorities, and it's a group, and it's an organization with billions in government and private funding every year. It's taught in schools. It's parroted by the media. MGTOW is none of these things. <laughs> it's none of them. You're advancing a false premise to advance your presupposed beliefs about MGTOW, and you're doing so by using a false equivalency argument, namely that MGTOW and feminism are the same. And I just outlined how they are not the same. And those differences that I just outlined, they're just the tip of the iceberg. You show an extreme lack of understanding of what MGTOW actually is, which is nothing. It's not a noun. It's a phrasal verb. It's men going their own way. That's it. You had it right to begin with. Now your dishonest misrepresentations have it all wrong. Next. Just falling into the same identity politics trap that every single ideology falls into. People It's not an ideology. I know if you keep think I know you think that if you keep saying it as with critical theory that people will believe it to be the case and therefore or support your whole argument and your entire the entirety of your attack upon MGTOW, but you just keeping on repeating it won't make it reality. People by definition are not ideologies because they believe or feel certain things. You can't just tack identities onto people who have not taken on those identities themselves. Uh, but it's not an ideology. It's not an ideology. It's a definition for a bachelor. Uh, look at it this way. Is bachelor an ideology or a word that has a meaning and that's it? You see, your problem, pal, is that you think too much, and you're arrogant, and you're thick-headed, and you think you know it all. So you keep asserting, asserting, asserting. Let's continue, shall we? It doesn't even sound like MGTOW. You're not going your own way. You're trying to... You don't even, you don't even know what MGTOW is, pal, okay? You don't have a freaking clue. You've made that very clear throughout this whole video. To get other people to follow you, that's... Men going out of their way to tell other men to go the same way they are going. Again, I don't. That's facetious nonsense. Spreading truth in hopes of men seeing the reality of the situation and saving themselves a lot of time, money, and trouble is just me trying to help them, to help you. You take it or you leave it. Doesn't mean I'm not going my own way. I don't even think you're a real MGTOW. There are real MGTOWs out there. Men who <laughs> Like you? You think you're a real MGTOW without being MGTOW. Very interesting. What you're doing here, you're using the no true Scotsman's fallacy. Look it up. Who have really gone their own way. You are applying arbitrary standards to create a specific requirement that doesn't actually exist. And they're fucking gone. They're not sitting on the internet bitching about women all day. They're out doing their own thing. And okay, uh, that's an old <laughs> trope that comes from <laughs> feminists and white knights designed to shame men. And it shows a poor understanding of MGTOW. All right? It's about going your own way in terms of denying resources to women. It's not about being completely and utterly silent. If you know something is harmful and you don't warn others, even though you know the risks involved in other people doing it, what kind of person would it make me to say, stay silent and say nothing and let them stumble into that trap and get hurt? It would make me a pretty crappy person, I think. Enjoying their lives without a marriage certificate. I was more of a, uh, of a MIG pal. Now that's interesting because, dude... You just contradicted yourself yet again. So men have to meet all of these pre-requirements that you have established. Nobody else in this video, none of the guys on here who are MGTOW content producers, the, the two so far that you've listed, the low-hanging fruit with very few subscribers and nobody to back them up or uh, uh, that would uh, uh, initiate any kind of blowback against you. None of them have used any of the language you have that would paint MGTOW as being an ideology. You're the only person that's doing that. You're the only one painting it with a brush of an ideology and a cult, okay? And now you say right now, oh, it's just a guy that uh, doesn't, is going in his own way without a uh, marriage certificate. 
But wait, what about all you just said about what makes a MGTOW, this and that and this and that, all your arbitrary requirements that fall under the no true Scotsman fallacy, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting how this guy contradicts himself. Ay, ay, ay. Let's continue, shall we? A, a hybrid between a guy who doesn't get, want to get married, guy going his own way, and a PUA. MGTOW. A man who doesn't want to get married and just wants to pick up easy women? So basically you're saying that you want to have sex but you don't want to get married? That's like millions of men out there, so... Right? But are these men who have decided that they will never get married? That they will never have kids with a woman? That they will never live with a woman? That they will never in any way, shape, or form indebt themselves to a woman? Put themselves up in a position where that woman can get their resources? Because to do those things, that's the definition of a MGTOW, okay? He's not saying that just having sex with women and not getting married is the only thing, okay? He's talking about an old school bachelor. That's all MGTOW is, is being a bachelor. I said it before, I'll say it again. Is there an ideology attached to being a bachelor? No. Is there an ideology attached to being MGTOW? No, unless somebody like this guy creates it for the purpose of creating a straw man that he can then attack. And honestly, I'm not going to do any more on this particular video. Uh, I don't see the point. It's got seven minutes left. Uh, that would take a lot more time for me to analyze. I've watched it already. I've seen what he has to say. Pretty much all, it's all the same stuff repeated again and again. The same kind of tropes, the same kind of logical fallacies, the same kind of... Uh, uh, foundational premises that are false, so everything that follows after that, no matter how logical or reasonable it might sound, are also false because they're based on a faulty premise. That faulty premise being that MGTOW is some kind of group, some kind of collective movement with its own actual well-developed ideology and belief system, and it's none of those things. This guy's biggest problem is that he just doesn't understand MGTOW. He's visited too many Reddit sites, too many MGTOW channels, and heard too many com of the same complaints, complaints again and again, and he's mistaken those complaints as some kind of MGTOW ideology because so many men are saying the same things. Well, yeah, these are all men who have all decided to go their own way, so it makes logical sense that they would have many of the same viewpoints, many of the same opinions. So he's made a common mistake. He has mistaken shared life experiences and expressing of those experiences. He's mistaken that with some kind of underlying ideology. It's just what you would expect from an outsider with limited exposure and limited understanding who's lacking decent reasoning and critical thinking skills. So I'm not going to say any more about the rest of this video because it's pretty much all just the same stuff again and again that we've already seen in the previous 16 minutes. And in the end credits, I'm going to list my two videos on cults, how MGTOW is not a cult, and how there can exist within MGTOW some certain types of cult-like behavior and personality figures and such, and I talk about that. But MGTOW as a whole is not a cult. I think that's been proven, and it's proven much better in my videos, which I suggest you watch. I'm also going to put some further videos in the description that are on point as to the discussion this fellow has just had in this video and some of my replies. And all these videos together will make my arguments much clearer and do an even better job of disproving his weak arguments, which I believe I've already done. No, MGTOW is not an ideology. No, MGTOW is not a cult. The only person talking about it in that way and saying it is, well, that's you, Mr. Armored Skeptic, and you're doing so for the sole purpose of straw manning, so you'll have something to attack and make jokes about and make a video about and act all high and mighty and superior when you are anything but. I am the MGTOW Philosopher. Please like, subscribe, check out my Patreon page if you'd like to support my channel. And that's it. Have a good day. Take care.